Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I'm here on a very breezy south promenade here in Blackpool. Yes, I'm down here by the mirror ball, or at least where the mirror ball was. <laughs> uh, it's just a stick there at the moment. Uh, you can look at my video on the mirror ball removal. They removed it to uh, replace all the mirrors, about 45, 46,000 mirrors. That's being done by the Illuminations Department and Blackpool and File College. Anyway, yeah, I've just been out on a walk and I thought I'd walk back past the Pleasure Beach. And I tell you what, it's a bit rough this weather at the moment. It's turned really bad. I wasn't expecting this, rain-wise, anyway. Uh, and we're going to go past the Pleasure Beach and I'll talk a little bit about the Pleasure Beach as I go. OK, so I'll just give you an idea of what I can see. There's a block of flats up there that they're building, Coastal Point, brand new flats. Quite exclusive those. This is the Solaris Centre and I'm going to be heading this way towards the Pleasure Beach and I just want to talk about a little bit about the Pleasure Beach and I'll go down the tunnel as well and I'll show you a little bit around the back of the Pleasure Beach as well while I'm on the way. Let's have a little look out to sea. God, you can barely see the South Pier over there, look. Just had a bit of a storm come in. 10% chance of rain, it's up on the Met Office. Well, I got 10%. A bit further up from the mirror ball is this here sculpture called Desire. Oh, it's really bad now. Oh, it's terrible. It's really sunny tomorrow, they say. Yeah, it's really come in, it has. At least I've got the wind behind me now. That was the whole idea to walk this way, so I've got the wind behind me. Just taking cover at the moment i think i'm gonna to have to cut this one short because it's so bad anyway a couple of quick shouts tom's vlogs uk and pat and john hope you enjoyed the video i just want to show you this thing here see this uh like a whale fin thing here with a seat underneath it now i think that these are supposed to spin round and you sit on them and the wind blows them round so the wind's always behind you but i think that they've been locked in place maybe a health and safety thing Tram's all running. Okay, so I'm now looking towards the Boulevard Hotel here at the south end of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This was completed in early 2020. And uh, you can see the big one roller coaster towering up behind it in fact this was where the star pub used to be do you remember the star pub i've actually got a photograph of it that i took back in 1993 check this out so there you go the star pub and now there's this new hotel in its place As for the Big One roller coaster, this was completed in 1994, built by Aerodynamics of Utah, USA, no longer going. I think they were consumed by SNS. Uh, and it was the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world on completion. And attendance at Blackpool Pleasure Beach went up by, I don't know, it went up by quite a lot after it was completed. It held the title for about a year, and I think it was overtaken by the top thrill dragster at Cedar Point, I'm not sure. I've made it halfway down the Pleasure Beach. I'm, I'm opposite Watson's Road, the tunnel that splits the Pleasure Beach in two. And I'm actually, I'm going to go down the tunnel. I'm going to cut this video short actually because uh, the weather's a bit wild. I'll just turn the camera around just to show you where I am. Yeah, so I started up there. And I'll just show you out there. Looks pretty grim actually. Oh, I think it's going to be better tomorrow, hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to go down here, down the tunnel, get out of this wind and rain. Okay, so we are now in the tunnel that goes underneath Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This is Watson Road and uh, the entrance to the ice drum is just up here. There's also a car park entrance there. 
uh, you can see through these things here. You can see the trauma. That ride there, Infusion, used to be called the Traumatizer, and it was at Southport Pleasureland, and they moved it to here when they closed Southport Pleasureland down. Anyway, back in the olden days, when we used to go to the ice drum, we used to meet at the ice drum. A lot of people used to meet in cars down here and race down here. Yeah, it was a bit of a boy racer's paradise, this tunnel was. We used to come down here, go to the end and pull a handbrake, and then come racing back up again. But now, can you see? They've got these ramps in now. But yeah, it was pretty notorious for boy racers back in the olden days. There's the entrance to the arena. That was one of the main entrances that we used to go in to the Pleasure Beach years ago. I never used to go in any of the places. That was in the olden days when it used to be open to all. So this is the ice drum here. So I've just left the tunnel now and uh, just going up the hill. And I'm going to end this video now but before I do I just want to talk about this here this is the Grand National right here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach I'm going to do a video on the Pleasure Beach specifically but I'll just touch on this because it's one of my favorite rides ever definitely one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world and contrary to what a lot of people believe it's not a twin track roller coaster it's a single Mobius loop which means that um, when it comes back to the station you have red and blue cars and every time they go around they switch sides so there you go the Grand National one of the best roller coasters wooden roller coasters in the world opened in 1935 anyway I'll have to come back and do a proper video on the uh, Pleasure Beach but I've been messed about a bit on this video by the weather anyway so I had to cut it short Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time.